Jen Rees float, uh, which is now available to Berkshire, it's a 100% owned subsidiary, although part of that float is attributable to Cologne, which is only an 83% owned subsidiary of, of Jen Rees and, and, and also uh, Berkshire. But that, I would say the incremental value today, because it's under the Berkshire umbrella, is zero, because we are bringing nothing to the party that Jen Rees' own investment people would not have brought to the party. Uh, we obviously think that there will be important incremental value over a long period of time. We, but when that value will appear or how much, uh, how much of it develops uh, is a matter that's out of our hands. Uh, we right now have close to 24 billion uh, in total invested assets at at uh, Genry and Cologne, like I say, 83% of the Cologne part is ours and 17% uh, belongs to somebody else. Uh, but we are bringing nothing to that party right now in terms of uh, any managerial skill that is going to add value. Uh, I would hope that over, over time we would. The second question as to the growth of float, uh, the growth of float at, at, at uh, General Rhee and Cologne uh, will certainly be very slow in the short term. Uh, the, the growth of float at GEICO will be significant uh, percentage-wise. Uh, the reinsurance business uh, does, does not have the same potential for growth as we have at GEICO, and, and growth is much slower to come about because uh, there are longer-term contractual commitments that people are reluctant to change reinsurers, and they should be. We agree with that. Uh, so you, at, at a level of six billion or so of premium volume and already 14 billion of float, you, you won't have any, you won't have growth of float unless premium volume is, becomes significantly higher in the future. I think that will happen over time. It will not happen in the short term. Charlie? If I may interrupt your breakfast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got nothing to add. Okay. <laughs> uh.